Hey, this is Mike with Family Handyman. Today, we're gonna show you how to build this sweet dog crate that looks a whole lot better than those wire crates you like to shove in the corner for your dog. Let me show you how I did it. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is size the dog crate, and there's a rule of thumb for that. You wanna take the length and the height of your dog and add four inches to each dimension. But one thing further, most people like to put a bed in their dog crate, so we wanna make sure that dimension fits the bed. So we're gonna get a bed that closely matches your dog and then use that to size our dog crate. Once you have determined the size of the bottom, cut it out of a piece of three quarter inch plywood along with the side and the back. Fasten the side and the back to the bottom with glue and screws. Moving on to the other side and the front face frame panels, measure out the inner and outer styles and then stack and cut them on the miter saw to ensure they are the same size. Glue the styles flush on the edge and use a two and a half inch wide spacer on the top side of the style to position the boards. The spacer ensures that the rails will fit precisely when putting the face frame together. Pulling your tape measure from the top of the style, make marks every four inches on the inside of all of the styles. Then drill out three quarter inch diameter holes at the marks, making them about a half inch deep. The copper pipes that will make up the rest of the side and front panels will fit tight into these holes. Before fitting the side panels together, I polished the copper pipe with steel wool. This gets rid of all the marking on the pipe and makes them look really nice. I used a soft blow hammer to pound the pipes into the holes of the side panel and then glued and nailed the rails on to hold everything together. I made sure the rails were flush to the outside of the styles and then checked that everything was square. I built the front face frame the same way, but left out all of the pipes to install later. Then I fit the face frame panels on the side and the front, attached them with glue and nails, and made sure that the corners lined up. I made two center styles the same way I made the corner styles. The only difference is their width. One of these will be fixed to the front face frame. For this one, I drilled the same three quarter inch holes as the other styles, but then drilled a half inch hole all the way through the style. This allows the door to telescope into the crate when it's opened. I fit the three quarter inch copper pipes into the fixed center style then nested the half inch pipes into the other side of this style. Then I worked the pipes into the face frame and glued and nailed this fixed center style into place. I drilled half inch holes four inches apart into the door style, then placed the door style into its closed position and used five minute epoxy to adhere the half inch pipes into the door style. I flipped the crate over and added four inch hairpin legs to each corner and used India ink to dye the whole thing black. I added some peel and stick wallpaper to the inside plywood walls to finish off the base of the crate. Now it's time for the top to go on. And for that, I used these figure eight shaped desktop fasteners. I mortised a hole in the top of the walls for each fastener, placed the top on and attached it with screws. I ironed on some matching edge banding, trimmed the edges, sanded the top, and applied a finish coat. So that's it. We used pretty basic face frame construction and a little plywood. Plus we added these really cool telescoping sliding copper tube doors. 
For more projects like this, head to FamilyHandyman.com.